Hey guys! Today we're making a miniature hot dog card. Hope you'll enjoy. First, you want to make the base. I chose to make mine from this wood that I got at a miniature shop, but if you don't have this, you can also use cardboard. In my ice cream card tutorial, I used the box from a phone, so feel free to use whatever you have. I also glued on this smaller piece just to add some extra support. Once you have that, you want to paint it. I used red acrylic paint, but you can use whatever color you want. For the corners, I chose to add some strips of metal and I used pliers to bend them. If you don't have this, you can also use cardstock. Next, we're going to make the top. I used this cardboard from a phone box thingy and traced around the card. I also marked off the two compartments. Cut that out. Use cardstock to make the compartments themselves and glue them onto the top part. Cut four more strips of cardstock, glue them onto the top like a frame and fold down the sides. I then painted it using silver colored alcohol ink and black acrylic paint. Take one of the cutouts and trim some of the sides. Roll out and cut a piece of pommel clay that is just a tiny bit bigger. Flip it around and use a tool to push in the edges. After pre-baking, I took it off the cardboard, added a handle and baked again. And after baking that, you can paint it the same way you did with the top part. To make the umbrella, I took one thick piece and six thinner pieces of wire, cut out a circle from a sheet of pommel clay, pushed the thicker piece into one side and flipped it around, made dents for the other six pieces and baked it. After baking, glue them in place and let the glue set. Next you can glue on the fabric. I recommend using either the exact colors you're going to end up with, obviously, or you can just choose some similar fabric so it's easier to cover. After gluing that in place, I painted it using acrylic paint. The reason why I'm not mixing fabric medium into the paint in this video is because after you're done, you're not really going to fold the fabric. To make the small grill, you want to roll out a sheet of clay and cut out the two end pieces. After baking, glue a piece of metal or cardstock with paint in between, add some edges to the end or side pieces, and add a strip for the front and back.
And because there is no such thing as a health coat when it comes to miniature food, I added brown acrylic paint to make it look dirty and used. You also want to paint or print out a sign for the front. I made mine using watercolor pencils, watercolors and fine liners. And once again to make it look a bit dirty, I added some brown and black acrylic paint. I also made a simple vent from Palmer clay. And after baking I painted it the same way as with the rest of the things. There are two things I didn't record. The first one is that for the opposite side of where the wheels are, you want to add a small piece of a wooden skewer and then paint that using black acrylic paint. And then the other one is the handle where you pull the cart. And for this, I just bent and painted a piece of wire. To make wheels, I roll out a thick sheet of pommel clay, cut out a couple of strips and wrap them around a cookie cutter. Round off the edges and bake. You then want to create whatever that part on the inside is called. Put them together using liquid clay and bake again. Add a small dome shape to the center and bake one last time. And just like with the rest, you want to paint it using silver colored alcohol ink and black acrylic paint. I then just glued those onto the cart and added a strip of metal just above them. To make some simple hot dog buns, you want to roll out a light dough color. and add some shading using soft pastels. Do the same for the sausages or hot dogs, bake and finish off with glaze. Really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial.